Hi guys, my name is Alvin Anga and today I want to talk about the scope of music as a profession in India. You know, when we were growing up, music was always considered as a hobby and um, no one encouraged us to be honest. But now at this moment when you look around, music is a profession, you know. And for me, I've been doing music for almost 10 years right now as a full-time music, you know, as, as a full-time profession. When you say music is a profession, there are it's a huge industry, you know, it's a huge industry. So there are a lot of scopes there. Um, you can be a performer like me, you can be a performer, you know, go like us, go around doing concerts, play venues, festivals, uh, release albums, you know, like um, you sell your music online. So there are so many scopes, something like that. At the same time, there, the biggest in India is Bollywood. We all know that, you know, Bollywood music has been going on for ages and generations. So there are a lot of people now going into Bollywood, not only Bollywood, the Tollywood, you know, the industry, the industry is so big in India. Even people from Northeast like Papua are doing really good out there in Bombay. So you can be in a playback singer. And besides the playback singer, there are a lot of people from our region also doing as a playback a musician, you know, like they play for big names, they play for the recording session. So you can be a concert artist and see that you can be a recording artist also, you know. And uh, besides the singing and performing, you can be a sound engineer, you can do so many things, you know, through music. And besides this, there is teaching. Music as a teaching profession is so huge right now, you know, every parent wants to send a children to music school, all the top schools in India, the urban cities, the metropolitan cities, they're looking for music teacher. And it's not just India, but like, uh, say, Middle East, like Kuwait, Dubai, even, uh, uh, you know, Dubai. Like, a lot of Northeast people, a lot of people from India are going and teaching music there, you know. So, the teaching is also huge. And besides that, there are so many bars, restaurants around, you know, the world also looking for musicians. These people are so well, you know. So, you can be that performer also, you know. So, there are a lot of scopes when you look at the music, you know, as a profession. So, the students are very confused with uh, how to choose music as a career. And, I'll go ahead, you know. So if you want to do like music full time, so you can be a Roman temple, or Western classical also, or Indian classical. Most of the time for the bachelor's in music, you need to have at least grade 8, you know, in, in music. And so in India, there are a lot of uh, schools uh, which offer, music schools that offers, you know, grade and affiliated with like maybe APRCM, Trinity, London College of Music, Rock School. So you can get certified from those uh, schools, uh, so those universities and board and then with that certificate you can go and apply for Bachelor of Music. There are some uh, colleges which don't even require that. You have to go through an entrance this, you know, you go past that and you can, if you know the theories, the basic the music theories, you can also go through some of the colleges. So in order, if you want to go like academic wise, you can go like that, you know, after class 12. Uh, but besides that, even though you don't do that, also you can learn the basic foundation when you're in school, when you're in your high secondary, and then with that you can also go, you know, and uh, you choose music and then you know go ahead with your life. Yeah. So there will be a lot of challenges. There will be people who are deleting us because uh, they have never been there, and uh, we can't tempt them because we are from a different generation. But I can assure you today that if you follow your passion. Your profession. Uh, many people say that I don't need to go to music school or I don't need to know theories, I don't need to know in a formal music training to be successful. Yes, you're right. Uh, you, you don't need to know music in order to sing or play, but, but it's always a plus one when you know the foundation. You are more disciplined when you grow. At the same time, it gives you a wider perspective, wider knowledge, you know. So it lets you sustain. When you are not trained, you have limitations. Creativity is there, talent is there, but you are under a box and you can only perform or create under that. But when you have music education, it helps you widen, you know. Your, your capacity. So music education is so important, so I want to encourage uh, uh, aspiring musicians to 
enroll yourself, go look for good mentor, look for good music schools, and be trained and get trained. Hey, uh, I have a message for all the students there who are confused. Today we are so blessed to have Air Mentor, a digital platform where you can go and um, get help, you know. Because when we were growing up, we don't know where to go to. We had no such platforms or no one to guide us, you know, when we were studying, or maybe after class 12 or class 10 or graduation. We don't know which line to study, which way to go, which profession to choose. But today we are so blessed, you are so uh, blessed that uh, there is a digital platform called uh, Mirror Mentor where you can go and uh, uh, take guidance and help and they will help you choose the right line of studies and help you choose the right profession for your future.